blood ravens. My chapter is in ruins. The sector is at war. Its worlds under siege. Chaos spreads, consumes us all. ago, we Blood Ravens destroyed the demon Alcair, ending his schemes to rot Subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape. We thought our victory would mark the end of the war for the Sector. We were wrong. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets, Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas, and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard the hammer of the Emperor was deployed en masse to the Sector, to secure her, to defend her. Yet the incursions only grew in number, and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the Guard's ranks. Now the Sector sits helpless, racked by constant, endless, unremitting war. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Araya Kairos, our chapter master and chief librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers. Brothers unaware of the chapter master's secret allegiance to Alcair. A corrupt Space Marine Chapter Master. A militia crippled by disorder and turmoil. Demons. Renegades. A sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector. A solution with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus, cleansing every planet of the Sector of Life, Xenos and human, corrupt and innocent. Declared Renegade, I cannot act against Kairos without shedding the blood of my brothers. Yet, hope endures. A handful of heroes still remain in service to the chapter, uncorrupted by Kairos' heresy. Led by Captain Diomedes, these heroes hunt the remnants of the vile Black Legion across the sector. However, Diomedes' hubris blinds him to Kairos' true nature. If the sector and chapter is to survive, he must first overcome his own pride. For ten years, Eliphas and his coven of cowards have run. And for ten years, we have given chase. Now our quarry has gone to ground. We shall see that Typhon becomes not their sanctuary, but their tomb. Captain, our advance forces are reporting contact with Chaos Space Marines. They have engaged the enemy. Then let us advance, brothers. With blood and fire, we shall cleanse this black stain from our chapter's honor. Eliphas is close now. These traitors will meet the Emperor's sword before long. I have infiltrated the enemy Vox channel, Captain. The rabble claim to have felled a brother Blood Raven. Then let us dispatch these heretics and make haste. It may not be too late to aid our fallen brother. Take a hit. I am an angel of death. Die. By the Emperor's grace, our brother still lives. 
Revive him. His experience will be needed if we are to crush these chaos scum. Your reckless desire to atone will get you killed, Sergeant. What have you to say for yourself? You know very well he will say nothing. He keeps his silence in penance for deeds committed. Regardless, his armor may have been compromised. Initiating proper rites can prevent this from happening again. The fight is here! An ambush? I suppose the dregs of chaos do possess some measure of cunning. At them, Space Marines! Show them the folly of their actions! Traitor blood has only begun to run. Forward, brothers! Eliphas awaits us! Engage the enemy from cover. Our armor is formidable, but not infallible. These are but gravel! I hear you, Resonant. There are still targets to engage. Grenade. Down on the next target. The rabble has deployed heavy weapons. As the Kodak's demands, flank their position and avoid their lanes of fire. Command, enemy fire has us pinned. Oh, Moving now. Easily done. Departing now. My strike is true. As all chaos must be. An orc ship. Greenskins are obsessed with salvage. Perhaps there are resources here that can be of use. But they are not already desecrated with their looting. The fight is here! Let's fly. Scouts understood this one did not measure up. I'm beginning my move. A Devastator squad would be ideal here. Their heavy bolters can lay down suppressing fire that slows and debilitates the enemy. The Black Legion would never allow us to keep such a foothold. Expect a counterattack. Is open while they are licking their wounds forward once more there shall be no mercy no respite orders joins us, brothers. See how merrily he dances, blind to the dark gods who pull at his strings. Welcome, brother. No, your decade-long hunt is all for naught. I will slay you here, and your souls shall be devoured. Save your words, Kerr. 
Our Emperor will see us victorious this day. Master Kairos, I was not expecting communication with you so swiftly. As both Chapter Master and Chief Librarian, my reach is long, Captain. I watched your victory unfold. See to it that Typhon is secured while you await further orders. And again, Apollo, congratulations. I... thank you, my lord. You honor me. Are you satisfied? I am not. I am, however, disappointed. With just a few honeyed words of favor, you discard all that we revealed to you of Aurelia in an instant. Enough! The Black Legion is routed. As for you, I will see that your fates are decided shortly. Captain, we have incoming Vox. From the Inquisition, sir. This is Inquisitor Adrastia of the Ordo Hereticus. Captain Diomedes, it seems you have been busy as of late. You have no doubt heard the reports. Eliphas the Inheritor and his forces are defeated. The Black Legion has been routed from here. I trust this puts the question of the Blood Raven loyalty to rest. This news changes very little. In fact, I am contacting you to inform you the situation has escalated. One of your own captains has made some disturbing accusations regarding your chapter master, Azariah Kairos. Angelos! It is he and his followers who are traitor and renegade! By all rights, I should turn Gabriel's men over to Kairos! So you have often said. Fortunately, he did not mirror this sentiment when he sent them to you to command. It is by Captain Angelos's recommendation you are being given the chance to clear the Blood Ravens of guilt. The Ordo Hereticus of the Inquisition will soon deal with these problems in a quite permanent fashion. Exterminatus. The complete and utter destruction of every inhabited world in this sector. No one will be spared. Traitor, Xenos, or Loyal. All will die. Exterminatus? But... Captain, if Kairos is truly the source of the Sector's troubles, you must expose it and stop him. If you can, then perhaps I will be able to call off the Exterminatus. And if you cannot, your chapter will be declared heretics and you will burn with the rest of the Subsector. I suggest you act quickly, Captain Diomedes. Adrastia out. Such an investigation will need to be performed without Chapter Command's notice. We will need to move quickly and subtly. On Typhon, there are the remains of an ancient teleport network called the Teleportariums. If we can find and activate it, we can use it to promptly travel the subsector unnoticed. 
Enemy forces lie between us and the teleportarium. We must engage them if we wish to proceed. To all officers and regiments that may be receiving, we're through with Imperial Command. If we have to fight, we're gonna do it for ourselves from now on. You wanna call that defection? Fine. We were dead men anyway. At least the cults promised something in return. This region is ours now. We see anyone, anyone within a mile of here, we'll bury them in ordnance. Don't doubt we can either. The regiment's holy armor isn't that particular about the holiness of them that drives it. Scouts have discovered a vital point of terrain. Require more resources. I hear you. Go ahead. Brother, I am hit! I have slain many harder foes! Taking hits. Very well. Down. Intruders! Oh hell, we've been found! All right, you fiends. I don't care who you are. Feel the might of the Bane Blade. I shall arrive. Retreat now. None of our weaponry is potent enough to penetrate the Bane Blade's armor. We need to fall back now. Yes, Commander. Protect those targeting cogitators. The turrets could go haywire if a cogitator is destroyed. Grenade. Orders! I can win! The enemy is destroying a key structure. The foe is facing a break. Target in the storm, Cooper! Territory now. Arrive soon. Taking hits. Scouts under we attack. Urge the enemy. Traitors. Failures. Shame, 
traitor. Captain, I will need a day to examine the relic and determine its usage. The sooner we can pursue this farce, the better. Farce, Captain. Do not doubt this. At the Inquisition's behest, we are engaged in a mutiny most foul against the chapter's leadership. The Inquisition has placed the Blood Ravens at the brink of oblivion, and it is for that reason alone we do this. We will search for evidence that will damn Kyrus. Or perhaps, redeem him. Redeem him? You still believe there's innocence to be found? I doubt we will find much of anything. Knowledge is power to us Blood Ravens, and we guard it very well. The Teleportarium is now active, Captain. We may leave Typhon at any time. We must locate further teleportariums in order to reach more planets. Attention! All Blood Ravens of Strike Force Omega in the Argus District! This message is encoded. Do not worry about our brothers receiving. The Ascended fears investigation and pursuit by those who are less enlightened. He wishes to ensure that all traces of his passing on Calderas are eliminated. As such, Argus settlement is to be razed to the ground. Success will ensure his pursuer's trail shall grow cold and his great plans realized. Such desecration of our recruiting world by our own battle brothers cannot be allowed to stand. We must intervene. I advise capturing that stronghold. With it, we can deploy our heavy infantry and holy armor. Order. Waiting for orders. Moving out. This is Captain Apollo Diomedes of the Honor Guard. I am issuing a stand-down order to all Blood Ravens in August settlement. Cease this pointless slaughter at once. We no longer accept orders from the likes of you, Apollo Diomedes. We answer to a higher authority. I see. Then I will have to do what even Angelos will not. To all Blood Ravens under my command, Brother Marines are engaged in the destruction of Argus settlement. They must be stopped at all costs. Should they refuse to stand down, 
Use of lethal force is authorized. You would not dare. By the Emperor, I dare. I will do what I must. I do not know how you lost your way, but I will not see this desecration of our recruiting world carried out. You will stop. One way or the other. An ally's forces are under attack. The enemy is just... Raise your incoming vehicle Lysandros come in. We have come under fire. Our mission has been compromised. Stay calm, young brothers. I will deploy heavy support. It will arrive in moments and crush these worms. Forces and battle options have grown recently, though I am loath to remain behind. You might consider deploying without Cyrus, the Ancient, or myself. Doing such will allow you to deploy with more forces. I have detected Xenos activity. While not related to our objective, investigating may be beneficial. And remember, use those shining bridges! Cause they bring good luck. If there's an ambush, be at the supply depot it will. Don't let the enemy reach the supply depot. And protect the trucks. I don't care how many of your kids get smashed. I'm sending some boys ahead to loot and make sure there's no ambush. Send cans and then send boys. All kinds of boys. Drive slower, you break me bitch, he says. And don't forget to drive on the shiny bridges for good luck. Listen up, kids. Warboss Smashface says there will be fighting ahead, and we need to get our gear to the wall. So just be sure to get enough trucks past the supply station for the war! We should not strike the ore convoy just yet. If we continue for the supply station, we may find a better ambush site. Whoa! Storm boys! A familiar target! Better than you have tried, Martin Bailey! Orders waiting for orders. Down. Next Moving target. Now. Beginning my move. I hear you. Go ahead. Waiting for 
supposed to be any fighting while we was looting. The trucks are almost here. Ready them suitors, boys. Boss Smash Face says we need to keep this way clear for him. Um, boss, they destroyed those shiny bridges you liked. What? Oh, you spread that be lying to me, boy, and you spread be dead before I get there, because I don't like being lied to. Now out of me way. I to do all the work myself. And when I'm done fighting, you all get your faces smashed. Here we go, boys. This is where he said the fighting was. <laughs> this is exciting. Can you feel it, boys? We require more resources. The enemy has targeted one of our turrets. Store our gear! Maui! 
It's gonna take a whole day to find all our gear again. Orders? I shall arrive soon. Brothers, we must give praise to Korn, for the construction of the Dark Portal is complete. Where Aragast's temple was sundered, we may once again freely coast the beings of the warp into reality. The portal radiates ruinous power. Celebrate as you witness the constructs of lesser beings tainted and laid to waste around it. I realize time is short, but whatever deeds these heretics are committing cannot be ignored. We should investigate. <laughs> Interlopers! Come to witness the glory of the Dark Portal! Draw near, then. Watch as the entropy of the warp claims and cripples flesh and steel. We shall savor your despair. that thing. Magnificent is it not? We have succeeded where even the great old care could not. Come closer, approach the portal, gaze directly into the maw of the warp. If you are fortunate, your lives may be snuffed by its entropy rather than our blades.
Cyrus, Martellus, you were right. Angelos was right. There is something rotting at the heart of the chapter, corrupting our battle brothers. Cyrus, no doubt. He has been busy in our decade-long absence. No, I do not believe Cyrus is to blame. The traitors named him as Ascendant, but that may be only to mislead us. Cyrus is our chapter master. He is the heart of the chapter. If you were pure, this corruption would not have flourished. Diomedes, you have been in service to Kairos for centuries, and know him better than any other. Let me ask you this. Do you maintain Kairos' innocence because you know him to be a virtuous servant of the Emperor? Or because the shame of admitting to a life spent in service to a heretic is too much to endure? I do not... Enough! I will consider your words later. We have other matters to attend. What of the teleportarium? The new arrays found on this planet have been reactivated. They have given us the means to reach Meridian. Furthermore, I have intercepted a disturbing transmission from Renegade Guardsmen on that world. It has been prepared for your review, Captain, whenever you wish. I realize time is not on our side, Commander, and striking these heretics is not our immediate objective. I leave it to you whether we act. Command Vox again, wanting a report. That's the fourth time this week. We keep giving them dead air, and it won't be long before they decide to stop by. They gotta be wondering who's accepting their munition drops, after all. They can Vox every minute until Doomsday, if they please. We will not respond! You have heard the whispers. You'll know, oh, Oak, the will, the voice. We are his now. He is here. Well, they have forsaken us. If they, if anybody wants these munitions, wants this meat, they must take it from us. Of course, of course, sir. For Oak here. <laughs> Perimeter breach. Intruders at checkpoint Tertius. All forces to arms. Gun them down. Bring their flesh to the keep. All care shall feast this eve. The foe is engaging in range. I can withstand this. Orders fresh. Feeble. Foolish. Cursed sorts of a cursed god. It is a sword to fight. Rest not, there are still targets to engage on my way on the attack. Yes, little ones, crawl and buzz with delight.
Prepare assault cannon. I shall arrive. How is it you've allowed the invaders to remain breathing? They walk in the open, begging to be slaughtered. Vertical batteries, vengeance and justice, crush them beneath your rockets. <laughs> stationed at this base has been hearing voices, having nightmares. This place is still cursed with the stink of chaos. We've been here years now, ever since Captain Angelos and his space marines left. Most went mad, but not all of us. We took action when you arrived, secured the munitions dump, gunned down the traitors here, and... 
treasonous filth! So eager to join these pretenders, then your blood and bones will lead theirs into Olkes Maw! can hold this location for now, Commander. If you take the keep, you'll break the back of the Renegades. Good luck, sir. The Imperium overcomes. I hear you. Go ahead. Going down. Brother, I am hit! to Meridian, we can intercept this Ascendant's Vox communications and expose his identity. Assailants, push them back. Do not let them gain a foothold on the spy. We moving. <laughs> Lee. 
Demon Russ and regroup. Fourth and 17th. I want an assault line of Bane Wolves pressing this position. Broken our lines. 50! Open a box with air support and stand by. If they encroach the HQ, I want the sky to fall on them! Sad Orders an easy target for me.
now. Priority Vox Channel Secondus. This is the Ascendant, Azariah Kairos. Marvelously done, Sergeant. Your slaughter of your own brothers in arms shall bring much favor from Korn. Without its center of administration, Meridian is as helpless as a babe set upon by wolves. Remain stationed there and repel any invaders. Your reward for your faith shall be forthcoming. Skulls to Korn. Help us, Lord. So, I trust you have your answer, Diomedes. All these centuries, these years of lies. Kairos. Kairos' signal originated from Typhon. Before we act, we should contact Inquisitor Adrastia and combine our forces. No. She will want more proof before she acts. We go to Typhon alone. I will confront Kairos myself. Commander, this Vox suggests stolen Imperial Archaeotech. Recovering it would benefit our cause. We found a power station, boss. Should give us the juice we need to finish her up. It was you here telling me about it. I told you to find them and to guard them. Even if the humans don't come to take them back, someone else might come nick them. We're supposed to just sit on them power nodes and hope a strap comes to us. Where's the fun in that? We only need them notes long enough to finish building Daisy. That is when the fun begins. Looks like a fire came to us after all. What? We'll keep him off the power nodes. Daisy ain't ready yet. Death to his enemies all! Shoot out!
you think you is, stealing what we done rightfully stole? Boys, get in there and take that note back. Orders you are well suited now for victory. Stand ready, yes, Commander. Heading out. The enemy engages up in both of the walls. Oh, Juice from the others to finish up. That is, oh, I'm sending in the big dagger to take it back. Back. 
Boys, leg it back to Daisy, sharpish. Kick these thieving magpies off the last note. traced Kairos's transmission back to Typhon. However, something is not right. Auspex scans suggest there is no enemy activity. It is completely tranquil, contrary to the state we left it in. If these scans are true, Kairos is here alone. I suspect otherwise. Be on your guard. Captain Diomedes, I shall arrive soon. What is this? Nothing was supposed to find us here. Warhost, hold fast. They must not disrupt the Seer Council. out of your actions you must leave this world at once i understand the fallout perfectly xenos the very least of which will be scores of dead eldar destroy the eldar brothers i will not leave them to interfere when we face kairos i will be parting now it's in the field still the invaders persist my king we shall strike them before vanishing prepare yourselves as long as the webway gate remains concealed, we may call in help. Danger has found Waiting for orders. I bring death on my way! Help! Honor is a success. Oh, is it 
Warp jump. I will move the council to safety. Hold back the tide, brothers. Do not let these invaders find the council again. Eldar are striking as Kairos was never here. I fear we were manipulated, drawn to Typhon to slay these Eldar. But to what purpose?
Bravo. Bravo, Diomedes. As always, my greatest champion. Kyrus, where are you? Show yourself! I am well removed from Typhon, and so needed a puppet there to stop the Eldar and their wretched ritual. It has kept the Ordo Malleus fleet from emerging from the warp. With the Xenos slain, the Exterminatus can commence. You... you desire the Exterminatus? My dear Apollo, long have I orchestrated the slaughter of the Subsector, all in Korn's name. It is too late for Typhon, but it isn't too late for you, Apollo. I have beguiled you to this juncture, but I have spoken one truth. You are the greatest warrior the Blood Ravens has ever seen. Join me in Korn's service. Kill these creatures of Angelos that you have surrounded yourself with. Become the slaughterer I know you to be. Master Kyrus, thank you. You have shown me the truth that I was unable to see. Centuries of service and lie. I do not know what I am anymore, but I know this. I am no traitor. I would rather die. Hmm. Pity. No matter. The death you desire is but a moment away. <laughs> we have arrived, and it is now that we perform our charge. In fealty of the God Emperor, our undying Lord, and by the grace of the Golden Throne, I declare exterminatus upon the Imperial world of Typhon Primaris. I hereby sign the death warrant of an entire world and consign a million souls to oblivion. May the Imperial justice account in all balance. The Emperor protects. No choice. Must withdraw. It must be magnificent to see a planet writhe and scream. To feel it convulse beneath your own feet. Witness it dying with living eyes. In time, perhaps I may share this gift with every last living soul in the galaxy. Until then... <laughs> Not wasted. 
truly think to escape? Ungrateful scum, squandering Lord Kairos' gift of a glorious death! Pay your penance in blood! Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! I am on the way. It is human nature to seek culpability in a time of tragedy. It is a sign of strength to cry out against fate, rather than to bow one's head and succumb. Inevitably, many shall fault the hands upon the sword which felled Typhon, the Ordo Malleus. But the Inquisition merely performs the duty of its office. To further fear them is redundant. To hate them, heretical. Those more sensible will place responsibility with those who forced the hands of the Inquisition. With some fortune, they may foster this hatred into purpose and further rule their own fate by coming to the Emperor's service. Yet ultimately, it was I who set these events into motion with a single blow from my hammer, God Splitter.
The teleportarium has taken us to the Space Hulk. The Judgment of Carrion. Not the safest place in the subsector, but we have our lives. What is our next move? We hold position. Diomedes. What did you say? You heard me. We hold position. I am tired of this hopeless charade. In the end, we are nothing but heretics. Nay, less than that. Pawns of heretics. Puppets. Every century served. Every battle in the Emperor's name. All of it ordered by a heretic. All our glory's lies. There is nothing left to say. No. There is much left to say. And I will break my silence to say it. Sergeant Tarkas. There was another like you, Diomedes, and we served together on Cronus. During the Tyranid invasion, we became fast friends. But Kyrus called for him, and he went. It corrupted him, and he despaired, betraying us to the Black Legion. I slew him. Captain Diomedes, I look to you now and see the same signs. I will not risk that. I will slay Kyrus myself, and if I must, you as well. Our past glories may be lies, but Kyrus has not taken our one true duty from us. No one but the Emperor can relieve us of that. Tarkus, let us go. We must escape this place. Past records of expeditions to this vessel have reported a teleportarium relay present. If we reach it, we can escape. Steady. The battle... Oi! Trespassers! Invaders! Hooligans and their duels! Nobody, but nobody just puts a thin air on this here Space Hulk who will help me say so. Now, piss off, or I'm like to say so to something nasty! I am on the way. Let nothing stand in our way. Receiving fire. Assault cannon. I am all damage is hoping nothing. Ready to serve. Ready to serve. You have, I shall arrive soon. I will warn the target to Do you not know when you shall stay your welcome? How oh, I'm expecting company! This brute's contraption is drawing power from the teleportarium. We cannot leave the Space Hulk until we destroy it.
knock knock. Who's there? This. <laughs> Transmission from Inquisitor Adrastia, Captain. Diomedes, finally an answer. It seems I still have some allies left. In your absence, I astropathed Gabriel Angelos once more, and his response was most disturbing. I will play it back and let you hear for yourself. Inquisitor, though it was the demon Alcare who first rotted the heart and mind of Kairos, it is with another demon the Chapter Master currently treats. This is the demon of Tartarus, of the Maledictum. Unwittingly, it was set free with a blow from my own hammer. It seeks to offer up the skulls of the slain to Korn, so it may open a warp rift that swallows the sector. In order to achieve this genocide, Kairos has orchestrated the arrival of the Inquisition and the Exterminatus. We learned as much from Kairos himself. It seems every last one of us has played a part in allowing this tragedy. Regardless, this confession does far more to damn the Blood Ravens than redeem it. I cannot halt the Exterminatus while Kairos still breathes, Captain Diomedes. You and Angelos must act soon, before the Ordo Malleus plays completely into the demon's hands. Adrastia out. Diomedes. On the Space Hulk, I asked you what our next move was, and you faltered. Like a fool, I ask again. What is our next move? It is true that even if we should defeat the traitor, we face condemnation and death. 
But it is not for pride or favor that we serve, but for the Emperor himself and the purpose he has granted us. If we shall die fulfilling that purpose, so be it. None will find us wanting. Ha. <laughs> to death, then. If Kairos' plan is to succeed, he will need a place to wait out the Exterminatus. There is only one place in the subsector that the Ordo Malleus will not bring their guns. A world that died long ago. Cyrene. The Teleportarium is already configured to take us there. We can leave immediately. I have extracted another Vox recording from the Judgment of Carrion. It appears there's a cargo hold that may yield valuable assets. Containment better. Hexora status notification. Initial quarantine designation. 3.5 centuries. Quarantine status. Completed. Cargo designation. Security level. Prime Earth. Value level. Prime Earth. Power level. Prime Earth. Docket. Docket. Contents erased. Label engine for cargo relocation. Operational. Advise. External containment bay breach. Xenos presence. Confirmed. Relocate cargo immediately. Xenos contamination detected. Operations halted until hostiles cleanse. I hear you. Go ahead. Hostile bioforms approaching. Prepare defenses and pray for deliverance. Inbound hostiles. Attack imminent. They are here.
leave the buried craft world. We located the infinity circuit. The flames reach deep and every biodome, every soul stone, nothing remains for us here. All to report to the webway assembly. Once we return to the webway, we will collapse the channel to the craft world, sealing this tomb for eternity. It is rare to have the element of surprise against the Eldar, and we may obtain something of value from them. You! You dare violate this tomb! You pathetic, soulless savages! Very well. If you are so eager to hear our cries, I shall shred your mind with the wail of the Banshee! Butcher them! Do not let them near the gates or the assembly! Target. Eldar! Your death comes! The fight is here! Issuing new weapon loadouts. I shall arrive soon. Protect the webway gates! They lend the power to hasten our escape! Losing one will slow the assembly's departure into the webway. Receiving we fire the end of you! On my way! We have them. Our bodies mindless. <laughs> <laughs> 
Vermin. <sighs> the Inquisition's ships come for all in this sector. It matters not whether you die by our hand or theirs. This armor is a sacred relic of the Adeptus Astartes. We shall deliver it to our chapter master. Lord Kyrus now serves the Dark Powers. You now serve the Dark Powers. This corpse god's base we stand in is not a sanctified shrine of your chapter. It is a fort to be plundered. And this land raider we have unearthed is not a relic. It is a spoil of war to be defiled and bent to our will. My lords, come in. Do you read? What is it, Well, Why do you interrupt? Beg your forgiveness, my lord, but we found another one. A war machine. A sacred land raider. In the hands of traitors? By the Omnissiah, Kairos cannot be allowed to hold such a sacred weapon. Agreed. Not only shall he be denied it, we shall have it for ourselves. The ruin that such a war machine will sow among these traitors will be terrible. Fall back, Renegades! Come no closer! Damnation! Brothers, the Land Raider will not move! It's Machine Spirit! Quickly, we must crush them! I am on the way. Orders? In service to our father. Tark is taking fire. Enemy structure destroyed. An easy target. Our yeah. target eliminated. I hear you. It shall be the Emperor soon. What are your Heading orders? there now. Ready to advance. On my way. Destination confirmed. War gear distribution canceled. Swan on the movie shall not fail. Tarkus taking fire. My control is improving. You have the right suit. Back!
Well, as I that this is folly. We are in desperate need of reinforcement. We have no choice but to press on, Jonah. I shall not abandon this place again. What few allies we have already know of our task. We can wait for them no longer. I would never suggest retreat, but I can feel his power. 
the warp screams all around us. Worse, his forces beset our battle brothers on all fronts. It is all they can do to hold their position. Then it falls to you and I, Librarian. We descend into the crater. Yet more pathetic rabble seek to bar our path. Then on our path they shall die. To the attack! Hope is the quickest goal. Now, debased slaves, you cannot stand against righteous fury. To battle, suffer for your betrayal. On my way. Your heresy ends now. Captain, if these foes close upon me with their blades, it will be all I can do to defend myself in melee. While so engaged, I will be unable to strike any foe at range. Worry not, Librarian. If it is melee combat they seek, I and my hammer shall grant their wish. No fear! No mercy! Demons seek my blood! I will destroy their minds and burn their blood! For every demon, brothers! No harm is unknown. Demons seek my blood! I am already in motion! The cowards attack us from that vantage! No gap may protect them from my powers. I shall smash their minds and bodies from afar. Wage war on me! Fire on them! Lay down to die, traitors! There seems no shortage of heretics to slow our advance. A delay we cannot afford. Be there dozens or hundreds, the abilities of a space marine shall scatter them all. There, Captain Angelos. We part ways here, Jonah Orion. Lend support to our brothers. Hold back the tide of chaos. These many decades have been an honor, Gabriel. Commend my service to the Emperor. The Emperor Lord. keep you, Librarian. I go now to redeem our chapter. The Traitor Legion. For the Blood Ravens! Centuries apart. 
no stranger to the deaths of planets. Cyrene was my home. Yet when the need was made evident, I did not hesitate to contact the Inquisition. By my hand, Cyrene burned. Cyrene's secrets now live solely with me, and so shall they die with me. Whether I'm victorious or slain, my sins will know retribution. Such is the final testimony of Gabriel Angelos, captain of the Blood Ravens, Third Company. Savior of Tartarus, Bane of the Black Legion, servant of the Emperor. Many decades have been an honor, Gabriel. Commend my service to the Emperor. Emperor, keep you, Librarian. I go now to redeem our chapter. the ways of demons to lie and mislead us. Destroying it is the only way to avoid its influences. They think to harm me. So long as my towers of offerings are in place, I am unbeatable. Warriors, protect the offerings. My ascension is not yet complete. Tarkus taking fire. Enemy. All 
the Blood Ravens! Captain Angelos! Jonah too. Emperor, preserve them. They need more than our prayers. They need vengeance. Before the cleansing begins. Press the enemy!
I shall arrive soon. I own these. Survive Typhon, did you? You shall make a fine sacrifice. Another step. No more talk, Kyrus. You have much to answer for. For what you have done to the Blood Ravens, much shall be avenged this day. For Gabriel! For the Emperor! For the chapter! For those who have fallen! For those who cannot be redeemed! Come to me, then. Loyal servants of the Corps Emperor! I, I am not a bullshit. I can win this game.
from Captain Angelos' battle barge, the Lydme of Fury. Tell him to execute orbital bombardment on Kairos. Quickly, before he regains his strength. Drostia, this is Diomedes. I am on Cyrene. Kairos is dead. You must halt the Exterminatus. And what of Angelos? We have rebuilt, and once more are great. We have forged a chapter not warped in Enigma, but one the Emperor can look upon with pride. This has been dark work, Diomedes. Kairos left much corrupted, and cleansing had to be both thorough and merciless. Yet now, we are pure and noble. It has been a necessary act, though. Our chapter lives, free of darkness and corruption at long last. I know I cannot serve the chapter in the same manner as before. But you, Gabriel, chapter master is fitting. None shall find you wanting.